Hello, hello, hello everyone. It's Maddie with Spectrum Art Creations and I wanted to hop on really, really quick today and just show you a project share. So I am not gonna be crafting these because we already did this. We crafted and we did a craft along, it was live. And so I will be sure to link that if you are interested in uh, creating some of your own. But I wanted to share with you um, how I finally finished. I am so proud of myself. I hope you guys are proud of me <laughs> because you know what that's like. We start a project and then we have some things left over and we say we're gonna get to them and then we don't. Well, I had a goal and I said, I'm not removing this off of my desk until I am fully finished and completed and I have. So I am glad that you guys are here so that I can share with you what I've made. If this is your first time here, well, welcome. I'm so happy you are here. Uh, and of course, for those of you who are returning, you might even be familiar with this project already, or at least some of it, part of it, not all of it, because that is the part where we wanted to finish. So kind of let me take you back briefly to the beginning and how this all started. So in our Facebook group, we were having an ATC uh, challenge. And for that, my Madison and I, my daughter, decided that we were gonna be making some specimen slide ATCs. So we decided to make a whole bunch of ATCs that were gonna be specimen slides. To do that, first thing we wanted to do was to hunt down a quick way to do that. So we decided to use this super neat um, nesting die that we have in our online store. This die comes with one, two, three, four different dies, and three of those have doubled, double, excuse me, here we go, can you see that? Stitch edging on it. The largest one only has a single stitched edge, like, let me see, there, okay. So, of course, we first grabbed the ATC size and we said, okay, let's go ahead and use that. Hello, it's perfect ATC. So we cut it out and this is what we've got, right? So you can see the gorgeous double stitched edge all the way around. And then of course, this is the inside of that cut. So it cuts it like, like so it cuts the frame and then it cut this. And this, of course, you just kind of save for later. You never discard. But then when we started looking at it, we thought, well, even with um, using thicker paper, I don't like how thin that is. It will work for framing ATCs beautifully, but not necessarily for specimen slides. Plus, we wanted to use some kind of a uh, label and do some other stuff to it. There just was not enough paper around. So we said, okay, that's not gonna work. So we kind of set that off to the side. Then we said, hmm, maybe if we just use this one, to cut the window. So we cut out a two and a half by three and a half piece, which is what an ATC size is, right? An artist trading card, by the way. And I have videos explaining what artist trading cards are, um, all kinds of information with examples. Uh, so if you want to know about that, I'll link that video down below as well, okay? So I'll have quite a few things linked down below so you guys can go check that out. But we grabbed a two and a half by three and a half, and then we put our die down on it, ran it through the machine, and then what came out was this, right? These three pieces right here. This is what was left behind, and we thought, perfect, look at the nice white frame. And then we had these two extra bits. This is that double stitched frame, which is what it's supposed to cut, right? Kind of what the die is meant for. And then this extra little panel that goes in the center, we put those off to the side for now and thought, hmm, we're gonna find something to do with those because we are not throwing those away, right? And that's kind of where this whole video is gonna come in. So now we had our frame and we went to town making um, specimen slides. The first ones we made, I think are back here, are the just pretty simple ones. You know, I mean, they're beautiful. So they are gorgeous specimen slides with all kinds of super cool labels and eyelets to kind of, you know, so we made quite a few of those. Sorry about the glare. I'll move that up maybe. Okay. So then we thought those are cool, but 
how do we kick this up a notch? And we still had these to content with, right? We were like, well, what are we going to do with these? I mean, they're cute. We can do all kinds of labels, stamp them, that kind of thing. But then the aha moment came in where we said, wait a minute, wait a minute. We can use those to do something super stinking cool. We can create hidden hidden paper clip. Okay, eight, so hidden paperclip ATC specimen slides with a bonus. So what does that mean? It means that they are now gorgeous on your page because you, you can still see everything you've written behind them, right? It's got a lovely window. You now have a tab for your book, for your page. So it's perfect as a bookmark. You can still tuck stuff behind them if you want to put like a photo or something else and see through. But here was a nice part. It is now a little tuck spot on the back of your page. So now you can use that to your advantage. And let's see, what else do I have? I'm looking for scraps here. And tuck in some photos, tickets, whatever it is that you like. So now it is like, I don't know, quadruple purpose. <laughs> um, little, um, you know, gorgeous specimen slide. So that's how we ended up using a lot of these, right? Or most of them, I should say, or all of them. We went through and made some that tuck in this way. We did make some, I mean, they're all super fun. I did make some that, cause somebody asked if they could be used to tuck. Oh, uh, on some of them, I did actually add the, the little chain and dangle. Super pretty, like that one has a butterfly. This one has, I didn't do all of them. This one's got a nib on it. So now you have that dangling from the side. I also made, um, oh, so you can do them also horizontal, by the way, not only just, you know, vertical, but you can also do them horizontal. And we did mushrooms, we did dragonflies, we did florals. So we just, we went crazy. They're so easy and so fun to make. Honestly, it's addicting. You just want to keep going because they all look so beautiful. I mean, look at that. Oh, there was one that tucks from the top. Let me see if I can find it real quick for you guys. These all tuck from the bottom. And again, we have a video where we sat down and did these all together step by step. So I will be sure to link that below in case you want to make some of your own. Well, I wonder if I gave it away already. I don't think I had. Oh, maybe I did. Maybe I did because I don't see it. Yep. I might. Oh, it's this one. <laughs> This one, to kind of just show you, let's grab another different piece of paper. Let's grab this one. Tucks in from the top so you can still have your tab and all that good stuff, right? Tuck it in. My fingers will work. But now this one tucks from the top, but the same concept. You can still insert your, oops, your goodies that way, right? From the top. So you can do them vertical, you can do them horizontal, you can side tuck them, you can top whatever it is that you like. You can use all kinds of gorgeous acetate stickers, which we have tons of in our online store, just like the dive um, as well, that you could go through and choose, right? Okay, so then that was done. Great, we've used those, we've used those. Then we were left with a bunch, as you can tell, you can see we did quite a few and we've already given away um, a lot of them or exchanged them and oh and then these right here and then we said okay now we've got these windows so we got to brainstorming with a lot of our online friends and we said okay well, suggestions what shall we do and this is what we came up with so the first let me show you these first the first thing we decided to do was we still had a bunch of the acetate stickers in those three packs that we use, but they were smaller. And I thought, oh, they're just perfect. They fit in here just gloriously. Look at this. They're just perfect. Perfect, perfect for going into these smaller little windows. So now we have smaller ones. Now what I did with these, you'll notice that in the back you have some stamping. I just grabbed my um, 
tiny French text stamp and I just grabbed some um, tea dyed cardstock and I just kind of went through and um, stamped here and there randomly, not perfectly. And then that is what you see here in the back of all of these awesome little pockets. Okay, and you can still see the, the double stitching. Did you guys notice that? I just love that little, um, here, let me show you on this one, the double stitch. It's so pretty, right? Okay, so made a bunch of those. And what are these for? Well, number one, they look great just the way they are. If you want to add them just to a page as a decoration, awesome. If you want to adhere them on two sides and make them into a tuck spot, awesome. If you want to also make these into paper clips, you sure could, or bookmarks, you sure can. Um, if you want, if you have something bigger, let's say, let's grab a bigger journal. If you have a bigger journal and uh, we need more coverage here, what, this? Okay, how about this torn piece? Well, this is kind of big, but let's pretend that it's a good size. Um, and you want to add that there, then you can have not only this tuck spot, but this tuck spot as well. So you can also frame it um, to make it more substantial, like pretend that this is cut right here, like so, right? So that would be a great way to use those as well. Um, the other thing that we did, and again, so many different uses. The other thing that we had talked about is using them like in an envelope. So say for example, that this is, Mm, let me refold this. Pretend this is an envelope. And that this is a top flap. I know it's not straight or any of that. I'm just kind of giving you the idea. So say this is my envelope. You can take this and adhere it where my thumbs are right now, right? So this bottom part. And then this would become the closure for your flap by simply tucking in behind it. Uh, of course, you can also do it sideways, like such, you know, just like that. And that would be so beautiful. So this is a great way to create a closure as well. Okay, so that's just some ideas. I am sure your brain is racing with your very, I mean, look how many we've got. <laughs> I'm telling you, you get a lot and, it, and they just kind of fly as you're making them. So then we still had more. And I said, okay, what are we going to do with the rest of these? What we're going to do with the rest of these is as follows. Okay, so then we had more left. And I thought, mm, what do we do? What do we do? And that's when this cute little idea came upon. Um, very similar, except these are pockets. These are not, these are just windows that have been um, shut. You could make them into pockets, but these I left clear for a reason. I want to be able to come back. Well, here I stamped one here um, just to see what it would look like, but I want to be able to come back and add my sentiments. I can add, you know, the month of January. I can um, add the season, or if I'm using it as a tab in a book, right? Then I can, um, you know, I don't know, maybe you know, this is January, this is February, so on, so on, right? Until we do whatever number of tabs we want to do. Let's grab another one. And then I can write um, my sentiment or maybe the month, or maybe uh, these are uh, watercolor techniques. Whatever it is that I want to do, I can use these as labels. Uh, now, because I can pull this out, here, let me show you. You can pull these out and sure you can stamp on the back like I did with the other ones or you can even add some decorative paper whatnot but this is now removable of course you can also flip it and use the other side and change it around but here's the here's a fun part and on this one I added some um, liquid pearls just to make them look like little brads the fun part is when you pull this sure I can still have let me grab that other one that had the sentiment so I can show you what I mean. Oh, I lost it. Oh, here. Pretend that this says January or whatever. I can still have that pull and guess what? Have room to journal here 
and here or add smaller photos if I want to and then tuck them right back in and nobody will know that my little labels also have or tabs have a little hidden message in there. So super fun to write. Maybe if you're doing a Bible study, your favorite passage from that um, for that chapter or whatever else comes to mind. And these were done using our um, mini whale tail die set. I'm sure most of you who have been here with us for any time already have your own because it is one of our best sellers, of course. But um, this pack right here comes with three different sizes of whale tails. It includes the small, the medium, and then the large. So they go all the way up and multiples of each, by the way. It's not just one of each, you get multiples. So you can see the different sizes, but they are so much fun. Where's the medium? Here's the medium. See, you get multiples. And it also includes the um, the vintage um, hole reinforcer, you know? It includes those as well um, for dies. So great set to have, but see, with having the mini, of course the jumbos are fun and the medium ones, but the minis are great for small projects like those. So we decided to make a bunch of these super fun little, um, you know, I don't know, tabs with, you know, the window so you can write your own sentiments. So I can officially now say that we are done. We have used all of the original ATC bases for our, uh, so from one die, basically from just this one, just the one, uh, we wasted nothing. We made these, we made these, and we use these to create the hidden, oh, not on that one, the hidden um, paper clip slash uh, tuck spot for the back of our page. So I hope, I hope this has given you some inspiration. If you guys have found this useful, if your uh, brain is now racing with ideas on what you can do with this amazing die set or some whale tail uh, punches or, you know, just your decorative papers and maybe you have some acetate stickers in your stash and you've been wondering what to do with them or maybe you need some hey we're here for you if you have enjoyed it won't you please give this video a thumbs up we greatly appreciate it it helps the channel and it's easy to do and it's free right so i hope that you will also leave a comment down below and let us know if you like the idea did you find it helpful which one was your favorite um and you know what we have quite a few <laughs> So we might just pick uh, one or two winners and send you um, some of these because, yeah, we have a lot. So do leave us a comment down below. We will see you all in that next video, which I'm going to link, which is where we made uh, these. I'm also going to leave those other links down below, along with the information for any of these that you would like. And um, I'll see you hopefully on Fridays. Join us every Friday here on this channel. We do um, finish it Friday where we kind of just come on and finish stuff that we've started. It's just a great time to sit back and just chat. Very relaxed, very informal. It's not a class. It's not a tutorial. We just come hang out and chat and get to know each other better. And then, of course, that you join us on Saturdays for our live sales here on YouTube where we actually sell and demo product live for you as well. So make sure you join us on Saturdays for those. Okay, thank you so much. And we will see you guys on this next video. Bye for now.